In this video, we're going to use a simple example I created and turn it into a mobile optimized site. So as you can see in this simple site, I have my content. Okay, so I have a home page. I have two more articles in here. And then I have a header that I quickly created for this site. And we have our navigation down the side here. Now let's look at what it looks like if I bring it up in my mobile phone. This is a website that is fixed at 720 pixels wide. Okay, so now this is what it looks like when you're holding your phone in the vertical position. So as you can see, it's cut off a lot of stuff here. So what we need to do is change this. Now just before we do that, let's look at it when we put the phone in horizontal position. Okay. And here it is in the horizontal position. Again, it's not fitting on there. So you're potentially making people go away from your site because they can't see what you're doing. Okay, so now what we need to do is fix this so that when people hit your mobile site, it automatically goes to the mobile version and it is something that they can easily read. Now in this video, we're specifically talking about HTML or PHP sites. In other words, sites that you've created yourself and not from scripts. In the upcoming videos, we're going to talk about how to turn WordPress into a mobile site. Okay, so let's continue with the conversion of our example site. Okay, so what we're going to do now is convert this page. We're going to use a tool that Google supplies to begin the conversion. This is going to do the hard work for us, like removing this header, removing the navigation, removing the images, like this header image, and then moving the navigation to the bottom. This can all be done in one easy step. So what we do is we go to this website, and I've given you this site inside the documents. And then what you do is you just take the URL of your main site here, which is your home page, and just paste it in here. Click go. Okay, and now as you see, it has created a mobile version. It's taken away the header at the top and it's removed the sidebar and it's put the navigation down here. It's also added some Google stuff here, like the Google search. But this gives us a good start. Okay, so now let's have a look at what this looks like on the mobile phone when I go to it on the mobile phone. Okay, so here's what it used to look like. And here's what it looks like now. As you can see, the content now is fitting perfectly when we're looking at it vertically. Let's just roll down a bit here. Okay, and then let's roll all the way to the bottom. And here is our navigation. Okay, and then when we click on the navigation in our phone, let's click on the first one. There it is. Okay, so it's opened the page in a new window. That's something we're probably going to want to change. But as you see, it has created the page for us. Let's roll down to the bottom here. And let's click on the last navigation link. And, refresh here. and there it is. Now, when we turn it horizontally, you'll see that it fits as well. It's automatically adjusted to the width of the screen. So let's roll down to the bottom now. Okay, let's click on the first link. And there it is. Okay, so let's continue with, with the conversion now. Okay, so this is our index page. So what we want to do is do a file, and then we're going to do a save page as. And now what you want to do is create a mobile folder. Okay, so we're going to create a new folder, and we'll just call it mobile. Now you can call this anything you want. Okay, then we're going to go in here, and since this is the home page, we're going to want to call it index. 
Okay, now let's go to the next page here. And then we're going to want to name this page whatever we want to name it. So we'll do a file. Then we'll do a save page as. And then we could do how to catch fish in rivers or streams. Okay, then let's go to our next page. And how to fly fish will be this one. So we'll do a file. Save page as. How to fly fish. Okay, so we now have the start of our mobile version. Now we got some work to do yet, which we're going to have to do manually. Well, let's go look at our mobile version it's sitting in our folder. Okay, so this is our main directory. This is our main site, and then our mobile site is in here. And this is, these are the files that we now need to work with. So what you're going to need now is a web editor. If you don't have one that you'd like to use, you can download one called Composer for free. I'm going to open up Composer. Okay, so here it is. Now what we want to do is open up our pages. We can open each up in a tab. So we can open as many tabs as we want. We can bring the whole site in at the same time. So let's do an open. And then we'll have to navigate to the mobile side. And let's bring index in first. And then let's bring in, we want to keep them in the same order. So just make it easier while we're going here. And then we'll open up the last one. Okay, so we now have these all open and ready. So let's start with the home page. Okay, so what we're going to want to do now is just get rid of all this out of the top. Let's go down to the bottom. Let's get rid of all this at the bottom. Okay. Now you can decide if you want to keep your navigation down here, if you want to put it side by side. So we could do home. Bring that up like that. So we can put our navigation that way if we want. And we can also move it to the top. This is entirely up to you. So just do it the way you want. Now remember, the idea with mobile sites is you need to make it as simple as possible. So you want to make sure that you get all the information on here, but you don't want it all cluttered up. The idea is to get people to do what you want on the website. If it's just reading, that's what you're going to do here. If you have another action in mind, then you need to incorporate that within your content. Okay, so I'm going to just undo all this, put it back the way it was. It's a good thing about browsers like this, they have a memory, so you can undo anything that you've done. You can also redo it. Okay, so I'm going to copy the navigation to the top I'm gonna one at a time so I'll put it up here like that okay so you can do anything you want with this. It's just like a word processor. Okay, and then I'm going to get rid of this. And then we want all this stuff gone at the bottom. Now this view page directly link, this should go right back to our non-mobile link. Okay, so you could just put the URL to the non-mobile version. It's a good idea to put this in here in case somebody accidentally gets routed to your mobile page. This shouldn't really happen, but it is possible. So we could do that. Okay, let's get rid of this. Now, let's reword this. And let's just call it 
non-mobile version. Actually, we could say go to. Okay, and then we could either leave that at the bottom or move it to the top. Okay, so we can save that. And then we need to go and change the other pages in the same way. So you have a consistent look. Okay, so let's go to the next page. Do the same thing here. Get rid of all this. And then we can copy our navigation up here. Now we don't need to particularly bring the link for the page we're on up here so we can just bring other pages and if you're getting too wide you can make another line of navigation just like that just by putting another line in there okay let's go down and just kill all this stuff okay we can get rid of all that and then Let's copy this back. Now, at this point, you can leave it as it is and it's going to go back to the home page, or you can point it at the page we're on here. If you're going to do that, you need to put the full URL to this page. So it's going to be your domain name slash folder name which we made as mobile slash the name of the page up here I'm just going to leave it pointing at the home page okay let's save that so you get the idea make sure that all of the pages are formatted the same so that you get a consistent look throughout I'll go ahead and finish this page okay we're going to continue with our formatting in the next video